Welcome you to the Master Wong TV. On this lesson here, somebody asked me this question a lot on to if they get attacked by the dog, what you do? Now remember, get attacked by the dog, not you go round and attacking the dog. Okay, this is important thing you need to remember what I try to explain on this because I don't want to get you involved into go out and attacking animal and try to hurt animal. Do you understand? If you do, I want to go in and hurt you myself. So you got to understand, this is the last thing you ever want to do and if you get in that situation, you can't do much and it's something you can't do. Sometimes animal is different than human being. So you got to understand it unpredictable. Now, this kind of thing, let's put this to rest to understand what I'm talking about. In my country, where we are from, is in Vietnam, in a poor country. A lot of animals in this kind of thing, like dog for instance, they're wild, okay? They're a bit crazy. So when you came in, you see them kind of dogs, they're more likely to attack you, okay? But in England, where I live now, I don't see many dogs like that come to attack the person because they're raised properly, okay? So this is only if the wild pig, wild one, and the one that crazy one that are attacking you, not the one, it's a normal one. And the police dog attacking you, and that's when you're gonna have a problem because they're trying to attack you. So if you're in that situation, you're gonna have a problem. So let me show you the basic thing here so you understand how to deal with it. For example, if I'm in uh, Vietnam, I walk in about and see the dog come along, the smaller one like this. You see, this is a problem. Now, okay? Now, I, I can't be just stand around there and try to touch the dog like that, see? Like, like that. Because they try to be friendly with them. This is not the friendly animal. This is the animal that wild, they're attacking you. They don't know who you are, okay? So you've got to be careful here when you come in and just attack like this. So you like, like this. On the side, and then kick on the head like this and move like this, like that, and move, yeah? So move like that, like this, and then move. So the whole idea, let's break that, go slow a little bit here. You'll try to come in, in like this, like leg like this, why? Because you want to move, because you don't know, you might see it, you might see it, you don't know. So attacking your leg like this, come on the side of the neck, like this, and then like this, to move the door head out of the way. So when you're here, and you kick it here, to able to hurt them, Another thing as well you want to do is try to using the leg pointed like see I wear this kind of shoe all the time because that way it gives you a better movement when you start to uh, kicking it, kicking to the side of the head like this so they can move them out of the way like this so on the side, then on the side, then on the side okay that sort of thing you need to learn to understand about it a lot to how to able to move because when it came, you have to be like this, see, like this, and then boom, like this, and then boom, like this, coming in, okay, to do that. That's one way you might get into. Second, sometimes when you go like this, and the bite you, soon as you like now, like this kind of movement, you're going to have a big problem, okay? Because sometimes the jaw, they lock it in very tight, and if you try to push them off like this, they get the whole piece of leg come off, and you're going to have a big problem. They have rabies, they have all the disease, and everything else. So the most important thing to understand is don't let the dog bite you, okay? If they bite you, you're going to have a problem because they're not vetted. They've got disease. So you're going to have a problem when you get that situation. Second one, maybe the dog bigger a little bit, they might back in your arm. And when you get like this, now it's a big problem. This thing is not just when you tear your arm off. They're going to rip your whole damn arm off like this. And especially the bigger dog, they will attack you in the arm and then rip your arm off. Now, this kind of thing here you need to understand. Police dogs do this a lot. They're trying to specifically attack you, okay? For you to try to get rid of the dog, like hurt them, and try to do that, it's gonna be impossible. You're gonna chop your damn arm off and give it to the dog to eat for their dinner. Do you understand that? So this is the problem. But no more kind of dog come along and try to buy like this. You turn the tail like this. You turn like this to move the head. That if you want to push them out of the way alone, like this, okay? So you don't want to able to uh, bite you, so like that, okay? And if they are trying to attack you properly, then you're using this kind of movement to go like this in, like this in, like this in, you see, on the side. So if you bite, try to bite, it's you on the side, you understand that? So you're difficult for them to try to get the head wrap into your arm and cut them, jog, get your arm and tear them off and you're gonna have problems. So when they come in like this, they more turn, more turn, more turn like this. And if you find this problem when it came, you gotta move, put that turn like this. So this is a head point away, you grab in the neck of that, so pull that, pull, like try to retreat. It's completely difficult. 
So then next thing you want to learn, grab like this, so the head is this way, and hold them like this, okay? Like you hold in a, somebody on the headlock. So see, they pull now, the dog, they try to, try to get out. See, they can't get out. Do you understand? So now, hopefully, if they calm down, you might let them go, and then you go, okay? If they not calm down, then hold them to your dear life, okay? And try to take them somewhere, and then put them down somewhere. I don't know what you're going to do with it, okay? So, now when the bike come in like this, you want to turn that side to the side. So, turn that side. So the same thing, you turn to the side, so your body, when it came, like that, on the side a bit more. And then, grab hold in, or turn to the side like, like that, and then push out of the way. This kind of movement, you can do. But the most important thing, don't let them fight you. Yeah, don't let them fight you, like this. So try to move out of the way, move out of the way. Get your body like this, so don't go like this. So it's already fight you, and next thing you know, boom, they fight you to the nut like this, and go, 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 and pull them out. And then, boom, 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 oh. oh no. And then you look down, and then your bollocks has been ripped off. Now that's gonna be a nightmare for you. You need to understand that. Okay, think about that. So the whole idea is you got to understand the last resort for you to understand how to deal and save yourself when this kind of thing happen. Otherwise, don't go around and try to attacking the dog and try to hurting animal. You hurting the animal, animal is not trying to hurt you. Only they try to hurt you because you go in and try to hurt the dog because they don't know you try to uh, do something to them and they're scared, then that's when they bite you. And this is the problem. So you need to remember that and get that into your mind when you do this kind of movement, last resort. Do you understand? So if you like this kind of thing here and you haven't answered all the questions and you want to know uh, more about it, then let me know, ask me underneath here, so I'll be right here to answer anything you want to know about. Other thing, subscribe to me before somebody send a dog around your house and bite your nut off. And if you like taking the course, taking the course, and I will be there and teach you anything you need to know. Spend some time to practice, and don't get a dog to bite your nut, and you're gonna have a problem. No more fun for tonight. See you next time.